Okay, on this lesson, I'm going to show you how to find roots on the calculator when they're not perfect roots. Now, I'm going to input them like this. Where you see the R, I need to put in the index of the radical. Now, if there's not a number shown where the R is, you're going to have to put in a 2. All right, where the A is, that's the number under the radical. And when it asks for A, that's what we'll put in on this. All right. So the first problem I'm going to do is the square root of 45. There's not a number up there where the index goes, so I'm going to use a 2 when it asks me for the R. Alright, so on my calculator I'm going to hit the program button, and you see my list. I want to use number 2, complex root. So I go hit 2, and on my screen it now tells me program complex root. Now, I hit enter. And guess what it asked? It asked me for the R. Well, in my problem, R was 2, so I'm going to come down here and go 2, enter. Now look on the screen, it says R is 2, but now it's asking for A. Well, A for my problem was 45, so I'm going to come down here and go 4, 5, enter, and look at my answer. 3 square root of 5. Remember, where that X is, that's what you put as your R, but since mine was 2, I don't have to put it there, so my final answer would be 3 square root of 5. Alright, now, since I want to do another problem, I hit enter, and look what it asked me. It asked me for the next R. Alright, so let's see what we're going to do next. We did square root of 45, so we're on number 2, square root of 98. There's not a number there where the index goes, so I'm going to use a 2. So remember, it's asking me for my next R, so I'm going to come down here, hit 2, enter, and look on the screen, it wants me to give it my A. Well, on this problem, my A is 98, so I come down here and go 9, 8, enter, and if I look on my screen, I get 7, square root of 2. Alright, so I'm going to do another problem, so I'm going to hit enter, and look what it's asking me for my next R. All right, so let's see what our number three here is. Number three is the square root of 250. And that's a big number, but watch this. There was no number shown for the index, so I go to two, enter, and that wants my A, which was 250. So I come down here, two, five, zero, enter, and my answer is five square root of 10. Ain't that sweet? All right. What we're going to do? We're going to hit enter, so we can go to our next problem, and it wants my next R. All right. So let me go find number four over here. Look at this. We're doing a cube root of 40. This time it has a number shown for the R. So when it asks me for R, I put three. All right. So it's asking for R. So I go three, enter, and look up there. It wants my A. Remember, A was 40. So we come down here, 4, 0, enter, and our final answer is 2, cube root of 5s. Remember, where the X is on the answer, you need to put a 3 because we put a 3 in for the R. So the final answer would be 2, cube root of 5. Alright, next problem, I hit enter again. It wants my next R. So that was number four. So number five is the cube root of 54. So it's telling me to use three for my R. So I come and go three, enter. It wants me to give it my A. Well, A is 54, so I go five, four, enter. And the answer is three, cube root of twos. Once again, I need to put a three where the X is. Three, cube root of twos. All right, and let's do one more of these. Let's do that cube root of 625. So remember, I hit enter, so it'll ask me for my next R. Well, R was three, so I go three, enter. Now it wants to A. So my number under my radical was 625. So I'm gonna come down here and go six, two, five, enter. And my final answer is five, cube root of fives. Alright, so good luck with that program and enjoy.